Welcome to my video. So today I wanted to come and bring y'all a chit chat get ready with me so that y'all can see how I achieve this look. And I just was taking a moment of reflection about 2020 and discussing other things that was on my heart. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then stay tuned. <laughs> When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise Tear all the words out of my mind About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right Remember the days I let slip away They were simpler times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on my shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the <laughs> I could not get these camera settings together, but I was so committed to coming on and doing a chit chat get ready with me for you guys. I wanted to have one final talk with you guys before we go into what is going on. Before we go into the calendar new year, I did want to just go ahead and give you guys a intimate conversation just about what's been on my heart as of lately. Y'all know I try to come on and do these Chit Chat Get Ready With Me is pretty often and I just felt like this would be a good fitting time to be able to do so. So I'm technically filming this on Christmas Day but y'all won't see this until closer to the um, end of the year which is totally fine. I just wanted to make sure that y'all had content ahead of time as this weekend I will be pretty busy and I won't be able to get any filming done and I just don't intend to film like that to be honest. I just really want to be in the moment. I would say that that's probably one of the biggest lessons that's come up for me this year as well as last year to be honest. Just encouraging me to be able to live in the moment and embrace the times that I have with my loved ones. So much has happened this year that was really like trying and jarring in a way that like so much happened that was really unexpected and I didn't see it coming and I just be like wow I wonder if I will ever reach a level of intuitiveness and the way in which I will be able to tell when stuff like this is coming up and be able to better prepare myself as y'all know like I'm into uh, the cosmos astrology as above so below but i wouldn't say that i'm at a level as to where i can predict the future i don't know if that would be a blessing or if it would pose to be more challenging uh what do y'all think what do y'all think is most most challenging being able to predict the future or the not knowing of the future and what's going to be to come it's so many things that i said i would have done differently if i knew that 2020 was going to turn out this way to be honest i can't go back and change those things that i did or did not do i cannot go back and change that the only thing that i can do moving forward honestly is just to make a commitment to do all the things be all the things that i so-called feel led to or so-called feel called to do and just be in that space in the now moment because I cannot change things of the past. You know, not making the phone call, not reaching out, not leaving and going with my person the last time that we departed from each other. And all of those things, they like kind of ring in my mind. And I have to, you know, recenter myself and bring myself back and be like, are these thoughts really beneficial to your now moment? Like, honestly, you cannot change what it is that happened even though you felt as if the 
tests and challenges and trials that you went through in this year were ones that you could have so-called avoided but what if those things were actually preparing you for what it is to come what if those things was a setup for your comeback what if those things were pivotal in learning more about yourself what if those things were pivotal in learning how to better navigate your relationships with others what if these things happen to mature you and so that's how i want to go into this new calendar year um it's not technically my new year per se i feel like my new year will exist in the springtime because one that's when things are in bloom that's when things come to life also it is the period in which my birthday is to come setting intention for the first quarter of this calendar year um i think that it will be really really important to not dwell so much in the woulda shoulda couldas but actively engage in a way that I can create the reality that I want for myself in this now moment. So Journeys, if you guys could pick one major lesson that you learned in 2020, comment it in the comment section down below and let us know what exactly that is. We can create a dialogue in the comment section because believe it or not, I really strongly feel as if as a collective, we all have been learning lessons on an individual level, but there are lessons in which it was just, unanimous across the board in which everybody probably was able to learn this year i mean just something as simple yet as profound as returning to your original birthright or returning to your original power that was always existed within you but you didn't display it or exemplify it the collective energy of returning to who it is that you are and learning who it is that you are from the inside and not continuing to be in the narrative of what it is or who it is that they quote unquote out there said that you are or who they said that you are um so i think that was something major for me and just like knowing that it's okay to reinvent yourself constantly if there are things about yourself that you want to change for your greater good or you're feeling like you're growing out of something a place someone just having the courage within yourself to know that like those feelings that's coming up inside of you when they are grounded when they are rooted in your existence knowing that your intuition will always be so essential to you in decision making not feeling as you have to neglect what is coming up for you on the inside because it doesn't look like how you tend to have operated before or it doesn't fit the mold of the status quo and like being okay to listen to you and being okay to trust you trusting myself was major this year oh my gosh i would i would hear from within i would hear from above whatever it is and i would be like absolutely not <laughs> clear as day loud as day and i would turn around and say absolutely not that is not what i'm supposed to be doing i'm gonna look for eyeshadow with oh my gosh y'all so the space on this sd card was seven seven 55 and that's so crazy because two of my numbers are actually seven um and then my other number is 11 so i'm a 7711 do y'all know y'all life path number or your soul urge or expression numbers if so comment them in the comment section below like is anybody else out there a life path 11 like me so i'm going in with this gold glittery color i guess this will be my holiday look since I won't be able to do a holiday look for technical New Year's Eve. I'm still on my way, closer each day to where I belong. I'm 
to roll in the dance, praying sometimes Don't last it long, I'm losing my faith I'm walking away from what you knew all along Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing Dancing on the This is what the makeup came out looking like, y'all. Um, the lighting is probably not doing it any justice, but it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in person. I'm going to try to take some pictures later on today, and I'm going to definitely vlog today so that y'all can see it in different lighting settings. But yeah, I'm so happy with how it came out. Um, I felt like more comfortable doing my makeup on camera and this was a very successful look considering I be getting so nervous when I do chit chat get ready with me's and I be feeling like the ones that I do on camera versus the ones that I do like when I'm not talking to y'all by myself it turn out so differently but this time I feel like it was a success let me know what y'all think it's so pretty it literally looks like my skin which I like. I like that a lot. I overlined my lips a little bit. So we looking a little more juicy today. You looking a little more juicy today. I think I want to do a wrap today on my hair. Since I won't be able to next week when I'm away. So let's go ahead and get this all. This is pretty too though. <laughs> this is pretty too. Let's do a wrap today. And as y'all know. Um, I don't own any like scarves for real for real i do want some like the ones where i can do like the different wraps on my head but in the meantime in between time i will use leggings because i really don't know like what wraps to get and like which ones work well for like the balls and stuff that i like to do i'm gonna go ahead and start my base and i'm gonna use a pair of leggings and i just grab the legs of the leggings like this and put the part that's on your bum oh y'all i missed a spot right here i missed a spot hold on let's go back and fix that quickly because i had that band on i thought i pushed it back enough but i don't think i did it's okay All right easy easy and then i just grab it like this and sometimes i'll get a, um y'all excuse the alarm my mom cooking breakfast sometimes i'll get a scrunchie and like put the scrunchie here and then tie it but i can really just grip it tight enough so that it can go so i'm just wrap it like this see and this one is looking a little bulky but it's okay we'll maneuver it as to how we like it and then i started twisting it like so and once i get my twist down then i'll start to wrap and it's just one of those things that it's like trial and error y'all trial and error so and then once i get it all the way around i just tuck it under and 
that's my ball it's not perfect but it's a thing <laughs> and i think i want to loosen it up some because it's already like hurting my head so wow i look so pretty oh my gosh this is like perfect what time is it my mama said she was gonna start cleaning at 10 o'clock i mean my mama said she was gonna start cooking at 10 o'clock and so that's the exact time that i'm going to go downstairs and help her so i can do it like this and do like the burgundy today like it's giving me you know christmas winter vibes or i can do one of these so this this is what i'm talking about the wraps that i'm not really versed in i feel way more comfortable doing my leggings than i do like actual wraps um let me get a scrunchie or a rubber band to like tie right here and then i'll start wrapping it around right but i just wanted to show y'all what it looks like before i take it off but it's like some pieces right here that i can't figure out so i'm not gonna walk around like this so, <laughs> but it was a great idea in theory i just be like filling out for different things and like seeing how it looks on me like you know exploring my style and stuff but we gonna have to get this wrapped together with more practice i'm not gonna wear it but i just wanted to show y'all like the process of what i was thinking about um and how it looks so cheese yeah i like the idea in theory but we are not gonna go with it let's go ahead and wrap this video up because i do have to go and help my mom cook so yeah <laughs> Alright journeys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you made it to this point, I respect that. Definitely put a 100 emoji in the comment section down below because you a real one. <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to consider liking, subscribing, as well as turning y'all post notifications on. That way you can always be on the up and up as to the next time that I do post another video. I hope y'all enjoyed this one and I will see y'all tomorrow for another video. Bye journeys.